As I've mentioned in my previous video, I love the design and the aesthetics of the Apple aluminium cases, which was why I, I chose to use the PowerPC case to build my Intel build. Uh, I've got a few other Mac devices. I've got my Mac Mini, and I love how it just sits on the back of the PowerPC case. If we look inside, it's just a Corsair water cooler. Um, Dominator, oh, I can't remember what they were, they're two, I think they're 2,333 megahertz dims. I can't remember anymore, 16 gigabyte anyway. They were the fastest I could get at the time. And I've got a Corsair TX 650M power supply, which is juicy enough to run this and the GTX 570. And the reason I'm using only a GTX 570 is that's pretty much as good as you're going to get for utilisation in Sony Vegas. Some of the more modern stuff is parallel processing and twin core and stuff and it doesn't, it doesn't take full advantage yet. I've got a uh, 128 gig SanDisk uh, SSD and a 2 gigabyte 3.5 inch drive there. This is just the standard Apple hard disk bay flip round and a Blu-ray player and a Blu-ray player and DVD recorder in the same slot as it would be factory. And if we look up here, you can see the hole I've cut out for the cooling. And then the holes that have been cut for the cables to go through. And it's not the tidiest thing in the world, but it's it's reasonably tidy, but it's not a opened, you know, I'm not into displaying what's inside. And then on the front you can see where I've put the, the actual fixings through. It's a bit day. I put the fixings through for the cooler, so I've just made four extra holes in the front grill. Luckily the holes line up, so I didn't have to do anything weird, I just made the holes a little bit bigger. And there's the cooler on the inside. And the front panel itself, all I've done is I've made up a wiring loom, you can't really see though. So the plug in the back, I've stripped most of the pins out, so it's only got the bare minimum that are required for the USB and the power and the LED, and then they're just Connected on the motherboard in the usual places. It's pretty tidy. My little PC speaker just floating around there. Uh, I think that's about it, really. It's all I can share. Well, I'll show you the back. It's the same as my previous version, really. Slightly different grill I've used on the fan. I'm missing the IO shield, which is annoying. When I bought the motherboard, it didn't come with a shield, and I never bothered to get one.